Hey Car Pack, this is Justin Holiday of the Indiana Pacers. Welcome to the Sports Card Consultant Show. First of all, you better get my rookie card. It's going to blow up. Second, thanks for supporting the show and being awesome. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on, Card Pack? Today we are going to go over the top 10 hottest selling basketball cards over the last week. So we'll be looking at the top 10 cards that had individual cards that had the most sales over the last week. And there's some interesting stuff on there, some of the usual suspects, some of the other. It's kind of telling us what the market's thinking as we're really nearing closer and closer to the playoffs. But more on that in a second. A few reminders. First of all, I'm doing this, I'm get, doing a giveaway. This NFL Prism Cello Pack giveaway. These are going for about 50 bucks. All you need to do is enter is click the link in the description. And you have to have a Top Shot account. Go over here, click this little button. I think it turns to the fire emoji after you click it. Anyways, just click it, take a screenshot, and send it to me on Twitter or post it on Twitter with the hashtag Sports Card Consultant. If you want the audio from these videos, go over and check out the podcast. Um, link for that in the description. And as I go through these videos, I'm going to do buy, sell, hold. All the cards that I think that are buys, I'm going to send them out to the Card Pack newsletter before I publish the video. It's free to join the newsletter. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Link for that in the description. Let's dive into the content, you beautiful people. Here we are in the Market Movers tool. Sales volume by card. Pulled up basketball. The grade PSA 10 over the last seven days. We look at the PSA 10 because the entire market starts at the PSA 10. The, the price of the PSA 9, the price of the PSA 8, the BGS 9.5, the SGC 10, etc. They all are based on what the PSA 10 is going for. Uh, now you can see the first two on the list here, but before we dive into that, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you in advance. I really, really want to start seeing those numbers go up. I just super appreciate it. It's just very motivating for me. Thank you. Hit that notification bell while you're at it so you get notified of new videos. And just because you're awesome, please hit that like button. Thank you very much. All right, number one on the list is John Morant. His 2019 Prism, pop count of 15,000. We're over 15,000 with that now. 89 sales on the week. Not much of a change. It's it stayed about the same price, about that $300 mark. Let's pull up this chart. This is his rookie, of course. And this card started the week at 301, ended the week at 315. So it's staying, it's been sitting around that $300 mark for for a minute because the market is looking at it like, you know, this is this is probably the floor, the support. You know, so in my opinion, if you want to buy Jaw, this is probably about as low as it's going to go, even in the off season. It may spike up some some here as we get to the play-ins, because the Grizzlies. Go, oh, let me get to the West here, because the Grizzlies are probably going to get a play-in spot. It seems like that to me, because I think these again. I've said that before in the West. I think these are your ten uh, contenders for the playoffs. Um, obviously, seven through ten are going to be doing that play-in to see who gets a seven and eight spot. Pelicans seem too far out. So it seems like these are the 10 that even have a shot of being in the playoffs. They will at least be in a play in. And Grizzly are certainly right there. They're in the number eight spot right now. I I think the Mavericks are probably gonna hold on. The Blazers could take it back over, but I think the Grizzly, Spurs, Warriors, I think they're stuck in a play in uh, role. So even if, you know, if John Morant comes in and the Grizzlies like win the play in and get to be in a playoff spot, that's going to make his cards go up for sure. But what I'm saying is if you were to buy jaw right now, you'll get it for around 300 bucks. I don't think it really goes down much more than that, if at all, in the off season. I just don't because no one's expecting the Grizzlies to win the championship. Um, if they make it to the playoffs, sure, that is that's nice. You know, that'll make the cards go up some, especially if Jaws has been playing really good lately. You know, he's been doing some, his handles are like, they're great. Like, he's looking really good. But um, I just think this is kind of as low as it goes if you want this card. For me personally, I probably don't even want to buy the Prism because I think I'd just rather buy other lower pop cards. Again, if you're get just getting back into sports card investing, pop count means how many of this, of a card in a certain grade exist currently. So this card... Is 2019 Prism, which is like the king of of rookie cards, really. Um, but you know, watch out; it may be getting overtaken. Um, but compared to the supply shirt, but anyways, this card in the grade PSA 10, 15,000 of them exist currently, and this number can change. It never goes down, but it does go up. 
And this one, I don't know how much higher it has to go. I think most of them have probably been submitted by now, but it'll still t keep ticking up for a while. There's a pop count of PSA 9s. There's a pop count of every single graded card. This card, if you bought it, I wouldn't hate it, though. Uh, I just don't think it goes any lower than 300 bucks. I think that's the bottom for John Morant. At this point, um, I just think if you buy it, plan on holding it till next season. You make sure you're all right with that. Next on the list, number two, Luka Doncic, 2018 Prism. Pop count is 16,733. You know, again, this jaw is number one on the list, I think, because he's been playing so well. And people feel pretty confident that the Grizzlies are going to be at least in a play-in, because they are. Uh, and it was just Luka has 79 sales on the week, uh, down 2%. Uh, interesting. It is really. Let's, let's check out. I, I do want to check the chart on this because it's been floating around 1,200 for most of the season. So if it's here down around under 1,100, and Luka's been playing great too. This card started the week at 1,079, ended the week at 1,066. Let's pull it back 30 days. Again, you know, I'm using this market movers tool here. I mention it every video. This is the most important thing I use in sports card investing. It makes me a lot of money. It saves me from making a lot of mistakes. And frankly, you just cannot do educated, intelligent sports card investing without it. You just can't. So I'll put a link in the description for it. Uh, use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year. So as you can see here over the last 30 days, this card has been kind of ticking down a bit. Here it is at 1200 1227 30 days ago. And here it is at... You know, 1,066. Pop count of 16,733. Ticking down a little bit. I just, this card, if it goes below 1,000, I'd be surprised. Especially with how they've been playing. Because again, like I said, I mean, I think that they are going to get a straight up, I think they are going to be the sixth seed. I think that's where they're probably going to end up. It could change because they're only one game ahead of the Blazers. You know what I mean? So, I like, I think the Mavericks are going to be the sixth spot. I think they're just going to get a locked playoff position. And Luke has been playing great. Frankly, I don't know why his cards have been going down that much. Now, like I said, Prism's the king. You know, if you're back, if you're newer or just getting back into sports cards, Prism's king. But, you know, its, it's crown has been getting challenged. And I, with that being said, how do you define the crown? Good question. Uh, it's it's up to interpretation. You know, I don't think there's a hard value, but when you look at the price point compared to the pop count, so the supply compared to the demand, which the price is really the demand, um, Prism is king. Because of how many exist and what it goes for, it is definitely the undisputed king. But in terms of the most valuable, common, or, or well, base card, uh, it is not that anymore. It was for the longest time until recently. Select overtook it. But Select also has a much lower pop count. You know, I think it's Select is like around 500. Right? So 500, if you look at the market cap, this card has the biggest market cap. It's not even remotely close. Market cap meaning the value of one card times, the, times how many of those cards exist. So 16,733 times 1,066. That would give you the market cap. Big, big number. So it is certainly king in terms of base cards. Uh, would I be buying this? Couldn't hate on you for buying it. I'm, you know, it's hard to say. I'm not like real anxious to buy it, but I wouldn't be selling it. I would definitely be holding it because I don't think it goes much lower than a thousand bucks like ever. So, and as we get into the playoffs, Luca has been doing magic, Luca magic stuff. So I don't I don't see any reason to sell it. But if you wanted to buy it, maybe you get, you know, maybe you get some spikes through the playoffs, especially if they do well. But I would again with any of these basketball cards right now, I would probably buy them with the knowledge in mind that hey, I may be holding this thing until October. At least October. Because that's when the new season will start, I'm sure. Um so Zion. Number three on the list, 2019 Prism Base, pop count of 16,658. Um, these are the usual suspects. These are usually the typical top three, Ja, Luca, Zion. Now, not necessarily in that order. 79 sales on the week of this card. Uh, it's down to about 640. It's been floating between that $600, $700 for a minute now. This card's at 622 had a high sale of 731, latest sale of 640. Um, 
this is his like again like standard rookie card like this is this is it but long term with that big a pop count i just don't think this is the one that i want to hold long term doesn't mean you can't make good money off it uh, but the pelicans they ain't getting in they aren't if you're a pelicans fan and you're holding on hope sorry to break it to you they are not getting in here it's, it, it's just extremely unlikely Mathematically speaking, which is not really debatable. They're four games back with like 16 games to go. Um, no, I really doubt it. So anyway, so if I bought this, I would be, it may dip a little more as they are officially out of even a play-in scenario, but I think people are wise to that. I think it uh, it's kind of sits around this and I think you're holding it till October. So would I buy it? Yeah, I might, but I don't think there's any rush to buy it. By the way, if you want to find out what I am really excited about buying right now, if you want to get my top sports card pick of the day, join the Sports Card Society. It's only $12.99 a month or $129 a year. That's like 40 cents a day. It's nothing. There's a membership area. You go to it. I put up a new video almost every day. The videos are usually about five minutes long. I show the card that I'm high on for the day. I show all the data and research as to why I like buying that card. And I also say what I plan on doing with it. Do I want to sell it in a month, in three months? Am I holding it long term? What am I doing? Also, Sports Card Society members get access to one of the best discords in all of sports card investing. Why is it one of the best? First of all, people actually pay to be in it. They're not just showing up for free, spouting crap and getting out. Like They're committed to the community. And they're active. And they're intelligent. And they're helpful. It's an excellent community. Let me show you some of the previous picks. We, I do one almost every day, but let me show you some of the previous picks. This is Kyler Murray. February, we're getting it for around 190 bucks, under 200 bucks. Here it is going for 350 in April. Here's this uh, Baker. We're getting it for under 300 bucks in March. Here it is in April going for 480 Here's this LeBron going for 175 in January. Here it is going for 650 in February. I mean, if all you do is buy this LeBron, this this value, this gain in investment here is way, way, way more than pays your entire year's membership of the Sports Card Society. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. Link is in the description, sportscardsociety.com. Number four on the list, R.J. Barrett, 2019 Prism. Pop count of 6,328, 71 sales on the week. So, so far, um, this card has the most sales per pop count, per number. You know, like 79 out of 16,000, well, that's one thing. But 71 out of 6,300, like that, this one's actually the most in demand of the, of the four we've looked at so far. 70, and that makes sense. The Knicks have been pretty damn good. R.J. Barrett and Julius Randle, especially Julius Randle. Julius Randle is just looking like a effing stud. I bought a good number of Julius Randle in like January, February because I was like, this guy looks really good. And that's paid off pretty well because those cards have about doubled. He's one of the uh, you know, kind of few players that have really went up during the se through the season. Him, Joel Embiid, uh, Jokic, um, who else? Those are probably the main ones that have really gone up during the season because they've just exceeded expectations. It's about exceeding expectations. R.J. Barrett has exceeded expectations, especially in the later part, but the Knicks have really exceeded expectations because the Knicks, if we go over to the East, are in the four spot, and they've been there for a while. I think at worst they end up in the five spot. I think they're definitely in a playoff spot, locked and loaded. No play in, just playoff. So R.J. Barrett, you know, let's pull up his chart. This is someone I could buy because the Knicks, I mean, they've exceeded expectations. And as we go into the playoffs, I could see this. Uh, here it is, 156 to start the week, and it's a week at 162, so it didn't really change that much. Um, I have a few of these because I got them for super cheap in the offseason. I mean, it was like pff, it was well under $100. Bucks. Um, let's pull up. Let's pull this back. Let's go back 90 days so we can get a really good look at it. See where it's been, where it's gone, what the journey's been like. So, you know, up here in January, it was around 180 and then it dipped down to all the way down to about 100 bucks, but we'll say about 120. And it's been kind of like just slowly going up, especially as of late. So there it is going for 170. Let me get some coffee, boys and girls. By the way, if you're still watching, please hit that like button. And that subscribe button. I appreciate you spending this time with me. 
I hope I can make it worth your while. Um, let's, this card, you know, so it looks kind of flat is what it looks like, but over in the last, let's pull up 30 days. This card's been slowly ticking up, and I expect that to continue because the Knicks are on a roll. Um, and with that being said, I don't see this card really going a whole lot below this either. So if you were to buy it right now, I think it has good upside in going into the playoffs it, to sell. And I, and I would be looking to sell it in the playoffs. If this thing, if I buy it for, you know, 160, 170, let's go to eBay real quick, see what the lowest ask is. By nah. Oh, it's Prism. Damn it, what's the number on the card? See, like, like Market Movers gives me this link here. I can just click it and it brings me there with this to eBay with this really nice refined search, but it's so hard because every listing, whether it's Prism or not, uses the damn word Prism because they know it's the most searched word. And by the way, eBay is has created a new policy. I haven't read it completely thoroughly yet. But they're going to start penalizing stuff like this when you use false wording. Because with that being said, this is this is not even bad. This is like, all right, well, this is annoying. But people will just straight up mislabel their cards. They'll go, prism, silver, and this is not a silver. And you're, and a lot of people looking at it don't know the difference. They're like, oh, it's a silver 200? Oh, yeah. But they don't know that it doesn't say silver. Well, prism. It would say, because like when we open, look at this card, see it says prism right there. But it would say prism again down here or silver. If it were actually silver, this guy could put silver prism in here and that'll fool some people and they'll buy it. And it's just it, eBay doesn't want that. Nobody wants that. And if you're doing that, don't do that. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, so let me go here. What was the number? Was it 250? That's a good way to get around that like like overly used prism thing. Put in the number of the card. Ooh, Wikipedia comes up. What's up, buddy? 250. Ba boom. Uh, sort it. See, now we're down to 176. Boy, I hope that helps. I'm just going to type in RJ. I mean, come on. Get off my lawn with that. I actually have some SGCs of him, too. Maybe I should be looking to sell those soon. 175 bucks. 175 or best offer. Not real. This person's kind of ridiculous. You wonder if it's even the right card. Yeah, 250. You can make an best offer on that one. Try to get it. Um, but that's my that's my caveat. Again, any of these cards, if you buy them, like make sure that you're comfortable holding them till next season, which is probably October, because usually the basketball season starts around Halloween. Next on the list, LeBron James, 2019 Prism Base, pop count 8338. 64 sales on the week. That's that's per ratio pretty pretty decent. I have this. I just got one of these back from PSA. I actually came back in nine. I sent it in in August, by the way. So it's been eight months. Came back in nine. This card was worth so much more when I sent it in, and it's went down a ton. It sucks. It sucks. I had to wait that goddamn. Some of you uh, left a comment that you don't want me to use the the GD thing. Uh, sometimes it's gonna slip out. I'm not a real religious guy. I don't see anything real. I don't really care, I guess. But, um, you know, I apologize. There's kids listening. Maybe maybe that's not the language you want to use. But sometimes it slips out. I was a little emotional about this right here. Um, this card, let's let's just pull it up. Because right now might be an all right time to, to buy this. This card looks like it's been pretty flat. You can see it, 84 bucks to start the week, 87 bucks to end the week. Let's look over the last 60. Again, LeBron's, did LeBron come back? No, he's not back yet, but he's going to be back really, really soon. It's been going down. As you can see, over the last 30 days, makes sense. He's been injured. Nothing to excite people. But we're going to get into the playoffs. And you know what? The Lakers, let's go to the West, actually have a little bit of doubt within them because they got to get past the Nuggets and the Jazz. I don't think people are really that scared of the Suns or the Clippers. Uh, but the Jazz and the Nuggets, even without Jamal Murray, I feel like are I feel like the top three teams are Jazz, Nuggets, Lakers. That's who I feel like the top three teams in the West are. And I think that that is um, kind of the overall consensus. So 
but the Lakers have a lot of doubt with them, which wasn't how we started the season. They have doubt. Is LeBron going to be all right? Is he going to be this? And that's good for card prices in turn, because look, it's been going down. So you can actually buy opportunity there. When there's doubt, you can buy at discounts. Because when there's super hype and super enthusiasm and super confidence, they're at all-time highs. So I think LeBron's going to build confidence. I think the Lakers are going to build confidence. And I think this is a pretty low investment. So this card, I could be a buy on. You know what I'm saying? So let's go to eBay real quick. This would be something. This would be something that, um, it's a number on this card, 129. We do want to keep. What? My keypad is not working. I'm pushing buttons, it doesn't work. What's the number on it? 129. Whatever, let's do this. That'll probably work. Whew! It didn't work as well as I'd hope. Or there's just that many up for sale. They very, they very well could be. Um, see what I mean? Like, people put like PSA ten question mark. I mean, come on, one hundred three ninety nine or best offer. So I don't love the prices on any of these. I wouldn't be buying at a hundred bucks. I liked it at ninety or less. So if I have this card, I do have some. I'm holding them, and I'm going to wait for confidence in the market to grow. Confidence makes cards go up, and I believe LeBron, etc., and the Lakers will build confidence. Next on the list, so I'm a hold on that one. A buy if I can find it for under 90 bucks. Michael Porter Jr., 2019 Prism. Let me, let me pull this up because I'll put a link to it in the description uh, for that card. Mm, never mind, I'm not going to do that. Michael Porter Jr., 2018 Prism, pop count of 3926, 53 sales on the week. Well, this is a really in-demand card because you look at the number of sales compared to the pop count. That might even beat the R.J. Barrett here. Um, down about 2%. Michael Porter Jr. obviously getting in, in increased roles with Nuggets as Jamal Murray tore his ACL. Let's pull up his chart real quick. See, like. Mm-mm-mm. You ever had tendinitis in your elbow or your arm? Because I think I have that going on in my left arm today. I don't know why. It's been going on, but it's kind of like worse today. Like, I, 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 I can lift things if I use my bicep, but if I turn my arm at all, like it just hurts. Even even just like letting my arm go straight. And I so I know the tendon up there in my elbow is inflamed. Why? I don't know. It's not like I'm power lifting or anything. I'm, I mean, I just got back into back into running. I'm not the most active guy. But I'm, I'm working on it. But nonetheless, there shouldn't be anything that strained it. And I used to be, I don't practice anymore, I retired, but I used to be a chiropractor, so I know a lot about this. So I know I got tendonitis going on, but I'm sitting here like, why? Why is that going on? Whatever. I don't know. It just if you know what I mean, like you know how uncomfortable it can be and sometimes just straight up painful. I rubbed some, um, some cannabis oil on it. Hopefully that helps. It's supposed to bring down inflammation. I live in Washington. That stuff's very abundant. Um... 252 to start the week. That's Michael Porter. Ended week at 243. Didn't really move much at all. Let's look at it over the last 30 days, though. I'm sure there has been some movement because of the Jamal Murray injury. And look, see, overall, it's gone up. 227 30 days ago, and today it's going over 243. It doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, here's a sale at 250. Here's a sale at 277. MPJ, M, M, MPJ, MPJ. I don't know why I feel like there's a song there, but it's overall ticking up. I expect that to continue as we go into the playoffs. So I could be a buy on this card. I'm not the biggest Michael Porter Jr. guy. There's a, there's a lot of Michael Porter Jr. truthers out there. I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I don't feel that high on him. I never have. I don't think he's a bad player. I just, I feel like there's so much enthusiasm for him. I feel like, if possible, the hype on him is still a little higher than what he actually deserves. Because, you know, looking at him compared to a lot of other players and don't get crap for love, I'm like, well, if he's getting that kind of love, why is this guy not getting that love? Right? Anyways. MPJ. But I could, but as an investment, I could be a buy on this because I expect it to continue up. Um, but what I think I would do with this is I would probably, I would probably go to Starstock. Is probably what I would do. I'll put a link for Star Stock in the description. Use code Sports Card Consultant for ten dollars free when you deposit ten dollars or more. I just, 
I just like this one for this scenario because you know they only do rookie cards on uh, on Star Stock if you haven't used Star Stock before. And when I buy this, see here it is, uh, 300 is definitely too high. I'd probably do the Star Stock A. Um, you, when you buy it, there's no sales tax, and you don't got to worry about shipping, and you can relist this thing instantly. You buy it, and you can instantly relist it on their marketplace. Um, no sales tax, no shipping costs, no time waiting for the dang thing. But Star Stock A, it's, it's a legitimate grade. Like, I'm um, sure it's not in a slab, but this Star Stock looked at these cards and said, hey, we believe that if you send these into PSA, these cards will be a PSA 9 or a PSA 10. And they have stats to show it. Like the last batch I looked at, there were 1,100 cards that went out to PSA. And when they came back, 92% of those cards were PSA 9s or 10s. So this is a legit grade. So you pay more for the raw on Starstock than you do on eBay. But this is the real value of it because of that extra factor where it's actually been analyzed, looked at by a neutral third party. Starstock, Starstock the star stock grade this is their company they're not saying hey, we'll just make them a's because we make more money they don't do that that that's stupid that's a terrible business they would be out of business it, that's a that's a stupid don't even let that go into your mind as a matter of fact they're getting harder and harder on giving on grading and giving this star stock a grade because it matters so much their their reputation is what their business is okay i hope that makes sense so i would probably do michael porter jr on this last sale was 84.50 so 84 bucks seems pretty decent to me. I'm going to click on that real quick. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm not logged in. I got to log in with you. I want to show you my password. Um, but anyways, that's what I would do. And you just go in there and you'd buy it. So I, I, if I bought this, that's probably what I would do with him in particular because he's on the Nuggets, because of the situation. There's only rookie cards on Star Stock. So you couldn't do that with like this LeBron. You could do it with the R.J. Barrett, actually. Uh, yeah, you could do it with the R.J. Barrett, too. Actually, that probably would be the play there. I probably would rather, because of the short time frame we're working with here, with the playoffs and all that, I think I would. And and the, if it goes up, I don't expect it to go to 300 bucks. You know, I see the R.J. Barrett maybe going to 200 210 maybe 220 And it's not really worth all the shipping and the, uh, by the way, when you sell on Star Stock, you only pay a 5% selling fee, and you don't pay anything when you buy, as opposed to eBay's 10%. You know, there's more eyeballs on eBay, but I think in this scenario where it's a shortened time frame because you really got to capitalize between now and sometime in the playoffs, I think that Star Stock would probably be your best option for R.J. Barrett and Mike Porter Jr. Whereas Zion and and like Luca and and Jaw, like I think buying their actual cards would probably be good because I, I I'd be okay holding those. I don't want to hold R.J. Barrett. I don't want to hold Michael Porter Jr. That's me. Next on the list, Luka Doncic's 2019 prism pop count of 5,010, 49 sales on the week. So this is his second year card. It's up 3%, uh, about 91 bucks. It looks like the average sale is going for. But let's look. Let's consult the charts, people. Again, this uh, link for this market movers tool is in the description. Use code Society for 20% off your first month, your first year. People always ask me, well, what do you have? I, I have the pro version, and I pay for the year subscription because you get an extra discount when you pay for the year up front instead of month by month. So this card's going for 87 bucks to start the week, end of the week at 91 Had a high sale of $103. Um, and this card's been floating around 100 bucks for a while now. Let's pull it back mm, 60 days. You see overall it's been going down is what it looks like. But if I pull it back over 30 days, you're going to see it's going to, the chart's going to look a little different. See, it's pretty flat, maybe a slight tick down. But as we get into the playoffs, I see this kind of going up. But I think I would kind of avoid it. I think I would avoid it at this point because of the time and the turnaround and all that. I think if I were going to buy a Luca, I would just buy his rookie right now or I'd buy it on Star Stock. Um, next on the list, Trey Young. 2018 Prism, pop count of 9,167, 48 sales on the week. So, so far, this is pretty much the usual suspects on the top 10 list. And that matters because they're the most in-demand players. Luka, Zion, Ja, LeBron, Trey. RJ Barrett's been on here a bit because the Knicks have been doing well. MPJ, I can see him getting on there. They're fringe usual suspects, I guess. Let's pull up this chart for Trey Young. Did that say, wait a minute, well, this card's gone up 25% on the week? Huh. Let's see if that's real or not. Let's look at the chart. Hmm, interesting. Started the week at 370. 
Here's one at 330 and then it jumps up to 435. That doesn't make sense because there's plenty of them for sale. It doesn't make sense that it would jump like that. So I think I'm not, I can't count this one. Um, this is a card that I certainly have. Um, let's pull it up on eBay and see what they're, they're listed at right now. What is it? Number 78. see here sort it eBay come on now let me sort it baby there we go I'm so damn excited for the draft tonight so excited four and a half hours from the time of recording is four and a half hours away I am stoked 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 I am so excited I can't wait for the trades I can't wait for the receiver, running back, quarterback, going to the team you didn't expect them to go to. I can't wait for, I just can't wait for all any of it. I want the drama, baby. Cannot wait. Love, love the NFL draft. Plus, I'm a big uh, dynasty fantasy football guy. Like, I don't even play regular fantasy football. I play, play dynasty fantasy football. It's been like that for years because once you... Because if you don't know what dynasty fantasy football is, you just you keep your team every year. You play it like a real team. You don't draft new teams every year. The only thing you draft is you draft rookies. It's the only thing you do in dynasty football. And you build your team. And you keep working your team. And you trade with other teams. Like It's a lot of fun. Plus, it's a good way to stay in contact with your buddies. You know, People you don't see that much anymore. Like My best friends are in the, the one league. Well, I'm in two leagues, I guess. But one I care about way more than the other. And, you know, you just like keep that's it keeps you in contact with each other. That's why dynasty football is like so good is it keeps it's about keeping you in contact with people that you wouldn't you know that you life you separate. You know what I mean? Like you go different ways and you just kind of lose contact. You move to different cities. You work in different industries. Some have people have families, some don't. You know, it's like life really does split. But, you know, you still love people and you want to see them more and and be still be in touch with them and it just it gives a good way to stay in touch with people that and and gives you some common ground to talk about not that you're don't like each other it's just like you know my 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 best friend he's got he's got kids I don't have any kids so I don't really I mean I like to hear hear the updates on his family his kids and stuff like that but I don't have kids so I don't really understand have the common things to talk about that like parents talk about you know and Stuff like that, you know, it's just, but but we can always talk about fantasy football. Like, that's the same, and that's excellent. You know what I mean? I don't know. Leave a comment if you ever played dynasty fantasy football. So, here we are. That is a PSA 9. 375 or best offer. Okay. That makes sense to me. I mean, this sale looks like it was, it happened. Why? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. But three getting this card for under 400 bucks seems reasonable to me. And the Hawks, let's go to the East. They've been sitting here in a playoff spot for as long as as long as I've been checking this damn chart. I think they are going to get a playoff spot. I don't think they're going to be a play in. I think they're going to get a playoff spot. They've been doing pretty well, especially coming from last year where they didn't even they were so bad they didn't even get invited to the bubble, let alone getting any playoffs. And I uh, I think people are a little soft on Trey. I think Trey's really good. He's really he's terrible at defense, but he's a good scorer and he's good at assist, which is part of scoring. You know he's he. He's great, and I think he's still got a lot of room to go. I really like Trey. Um, would I buy this? Yeah, if you wanted to buy it, but with the caveat, be okay holding it till October if you have to. You know what I mean? If this goes to 500 bucks during the playoffs, maybe Trey hits a big game winner. This is going to go boom, boom. Or maybe they beat a team they weren't expected to beat. Boom. Uh, you know, and then I'd probably sell it. And I'll buy it back cheaper in the offseason because I don't think they're going to win the championship. But I dig it. Dig it, baby. All right, next on the list. Kobe White, 2019 Prism PopCon, 6868, 46 sales on the week, up about 6%. Let's pull up his chart. I don't know why he's going up so much. Doubles. I don't think that they are going to get this back. They let the Wizards pass them. Wizards have been on roll. Russell Westbrook has been a triple-double machine. And Bradley Beal, scoring machine. I believe Bradley Beal has taken over the scoring title again. And, like, you know, I don't... And the Bulls, honestly, I couldn't tell you anything about the Bulls. Because they don't make any highlights. I just... I can't... They don't... There's nothing good. But the Wizards... Watch out for the Wizards. That's what I'll say. 
67 bucks to start the week, 71 bucks to end the week. You know, I have some Kobe White. I should have sold it a long time ago. I'm not buying this. I would, uh, I don't know, man. I'd probably just hold it because why sell it? It's, it's probably at its rock bottom almost. Why sell it? Next on the list, Luka Doncic 2018 Don Russ. I believe that's the last one on the list too. Yep. 40 sales on the week. Pop count of 59.19. This is a rookie card from him. Down 11%. Let's pull up that chart. That's interesting. They might, might, that might be a buying opportunity. I like this card. You know, it's got the rated rookie logo. It's got the blue going with it. Good looking card. I mean, the optic obviously looks identical. It's just that it's uh, an acetate card, I believe, or a chromish card. It looks the same. You literally can't tell the difference other than there's an O and a D. And is this a paper card? The chrome is an actual, you know, like cardboard, acetate, whatever they use thing. Uh, four four hundred thirty bucks start the week. End of the week at three seventy eight. Interesting. I'm really intrigued here. Let's pull this back thirty days. Yeah, it's just kind of been slowly ticked down the last Let's pull up his PSA nine too. Let's compare them. Yeah, we'll pull up BGS nine point five too. This is why this is one of the reasons I love the Mark Movers tool. There's just so much power within here to pull up data and compare and visualize data. Um, and by the way, if you want more help being able to read these charts, I put together a course called the Delta Factor. It's helping you really be able to interpret these charts and find buy signals. Like this, this is a Luka Doncic here. This is his prism, his optic, and his select premier level. And as you see, the green one, which is a select premier level, was starting to challenge the prism. And this told me, like, hey, you know, I think that the premier level is going to cross the prism. I think this is saying to me, because when you look at data, it speaks. And this was saying, the market's saying, hey, you know what? We want, the, we think this should be above prism, but we don't quite have the balls to do, take that leap yet. But I'm like, but they're gonna. And they did, because the premier level is 200, 300 bucks above the prism right now. And so I recommended this to the sports card society. I said, hey, here's what I see. This is what's going to happen. I'm buying up a crap load of these. Uh, and there's only like 500 pop count as opposed to the Prism 16,000. So that is what happened. All kinds of stuff. Like there's a lot, lot, lot of stuff to look at. It's about seven, eight videos, three, four hours of content. Um, and plus I put new videos in there from time to time and you'll get all those free updates if you buy the Delta Factor. You'll get some bonuses too still. You'll get a free month of the Sports Card Society and a whole year access to the private Discord group. Check it out in the uh, description, link in description. Um, do I see anything standing out here? What's this green one here? Is this the BGS? Now, typically, let's go here too real quick. I, I like using this little ratios button in the market movers tool because um, there's typical ratios you should see, like like the PSA 10 compared to the PSA 9. The PSA 10 typically goes for about three and a half times more than the 9 if the pop counts are close. It looks to me like, you know, the 9 is less than half of the 10. So in reality, this should probably be going for more like, the 10 should probably be, probably be about three times more than the nine. And the thing is like, say say the 10 is going for five times more than the nine in this case. Well, then you know the nine is a really good value because the 10 is just going for, it's just going for way more than it should be and the nine hasn't caught up yet. Stuff like that. The BGS 9.5 should typically be going for about half of the PSA 10. So let's look at the ratios quick. So here's the 10 to the 9. Yeah, here we are at 2. Because, now, I think that that's probably a little low, meaning that I think, if anything, the 10 is maybe a little undervalued. But, uh, you know, with this pop count, it, it makes sense that it would be less than... I think it should be somewhere around 3, 2.75 at the, at the lowest. So 2 is low. So, again, I feel like the 10 is undervalued. Not just because of that, but because it shouldn't be going down this time of year with Luca doing what he's doing, doing what his team's doing, you know, going into the playoffs. It shouldn't be down like that. Um, and here it is compared to the 9.5, which that tells me that the 9.5 is overvalued. Again, pointing to me that maybe the 10 is undervalued. And here we are with the 9.5 to the 9. This isn't a ratio that I look at too much. Um, the 9.5 should be going for roughly, typically about, you know, maybe about double the nine, roughly maybe 1.75 to two times, stuff like that. So that's, uh, all this data that you look at, you can really find some values. So I think the 10 is a value. Let's go to eBay and see if we can actually find some for that price. Two 
two ninety nine. What? Oh, PSA nine. I was like, what? Uh, three ninety. Jeez, buddy. What do we say here? Three seventy eight. Because I think this card should be more like four hundred and fifty bucks. You make an offer on this? Make offers? Yeah, I'm a. Yeah, I'm a buy on. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description to this. I'm a buy on this one, especially if you can get if you can get it for under four hundred bucks, which you obviously can. But I'd make offers to see what I could find. Yeah, I'm a buy on that because of the data. Like, there's again, there's no reason this card should be down eleven percent over the last uh, well thirty days, but over the last seven days even, which is where it's down. As we pull back uh, seven days, this card's down like twelve percent. That doesn't make any sense. Especially when you look at other Luca cards, they're like flat, maybe even up a little bit. It doesn't make sense that this Don Rush should be down 12%. Especially with Luca going into the playoffs. Come on. Uh, let me get back to the West. Especially with Luca going, probably going to be in the playoffs. He's been playing great. He's making like, he's doing Luca magic. You know what I mean? So, this card to start the week was at 430. It doesn't make any sense. So I think it's a good buying opportunity for that. I really do. And when you compare it to the other data, like the ratios, tells this tells me the 9 is overvalued. This tells me that the BGS 9.5 is overvalued. Because this should be around 2. If it's under 2, the BGS 9.5 is getting undervalued, a.k.a. the 10 could be undervalued. If this is getting above 2, that tells me the 9.5 is undervalued. And if this is getting, in this case, probably three is what we'd be looking at with the pop counts. Because this pop count being half of this, if these were like, if this were like 5,900 and this were like 5,000, yeah, I would expect this to be around three and a half. But since this is so much less, I would expect it to be around three, maybe 2.75 at the lowest. So this tells me that the nine is probably overvalued. The BGS 9.5 is probably overvalued because this should be around two. So that also tells me both of these say the 10 seems undervalued. Plus, when I look at the data and the reality of what's going on in the real world, it just seems like this shouldn't be going down. This seems undervalued. That's the type of stuff I do behind the scenes for the Sports Card Society. So I find stuff like this, and I say, hey, I'm going to tell the Sports Card Society about it. They make a quick video, and I show all that kind of stuff. Like I just showed you all the data and research as to why I like this card. And what do I plan on doing with it? I would buy it saying, hey, I may hold this until... October, but I think it's just undervalued and Luca's been doing good stuff. I think this card's going to see a significant rise in uh, in value during the playoffs. I think there's good odds of that. And if not, oh well, I got to hold it till October and it's definitely going to be above this by the time October rolls around. But I think on this card, I also like the star stock play because of the short time frame and because um, I'm not going to pay sales tax, because I'm not going to pay shipping. I'm not going to have to ship the dang thing. I can list it right away. I could buy this card. Let's see, let's see, what, that, let's see what that Luca's going for on here. Let's take a look. There's probably a whole bunch of them. I'm probably going to have to straight up pull up the... Oh, no. First on the list, Don Russ. 400 bucks. I don't hate it because I'm not paying sales tax. I'm not paying shipping. I'm going to get it instantly. But there's also the star stock. There's the nine overvalued. So you tell me the... Yeah, the nine's overvalued. I like this. Oh, yeah. I got to log in to actually look at it. But I like that. I like 400 bucks. I think that's a good value. Latest sale, 375, 400. You know, you could list this for 450, 475, maybe 500, depending on what Luca does. And you can sell it right here on this marketplace. No shipping, uh, and they only take a five percent fee. So if I list this at buy at 400, straight up, because there's no sales tax or shipping fees, uh, and list it for 450, I think it's going to definitely go for 450. And Star Stock's going to take its five percent, which would be like 22 bucks. So that means, you know, I make maybe about 430, so I make about 30 bucks. And I don't see this really going down much below this price at any point, even after, even in the off season. So, again, worst case scenario, hold it till October, but I think this definitely goes up. But there's only 9 for sale. There's only 9 to choose from. So, I like this star stock play. I definitely do. Um, but that's what I got for you today. That's the that's the list, the top 10. We're getting into the playoffs. Some things are going up, some things are going down. Use your judgment on what could happen because what you need to happen for cards to go up here is you need expectations to be exceeded. Not massively, but they got to be exceeded. You know, like the Lakers have some doubt. I like LeBron and AD right now. 
because they have some doubt and they can easily overcome that. Um, I like Luca. Apparently, some of his stuff is down. Hmm, Dame Lillard, maybe. You know, stuff like that. Just be thinking about it. Links for everything in the description. You know, we got the got the giveaway, the podcast, the newsletter, the society, and the Delta Factor. You know, check all that stuff out. And of course, if you're still watching, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and hit that like button for me. I super duper appreciate that. If you're watching the NFL draft tonight, which I hope you are, you know I am. Enjoy it. Just enjoy it. You know, get make yourself some popcorn. Get yourself a nice uh, beverage. I'll be drinking Spin Drift most likely. I'm really trying not to drink much alcohol at all anymore. Um, but I'll probably be drinking you know a few Spin Drifts, a few a few bubblies. If you never had a Spin Drift, it's very tasty. It's you know it's like Lacroix, but not with like no with no chemicals, with actual like squeezed fruit juice in it. Uh, I, I think grapefruit is my favorite. Um, and I'll probably make some popcorn, you know, throw a little, uh, throw a little plant-based butter on it because plant-based butter is healthier than uh, cow butter. And, uh, and it's just as tasty. I mean, you're not like you ever eat straight butter. Anyways, it tastes great. Um, cause it's just butter. It goes on things. You don't eat it straight. Um, and that's what I'll be doing. I'm chilling on my couch, watching the draft. That's what I got. Thank you for watching this with me today. I appreciate it. Card pack. Stay classy. You are super awesome.